and welcome to the Grapeseed Official Podcast. It's time for another 10 Things episode, and our guest this week is David Kim, a coach in Japan. Welcome to the show, David. Hello, Adam. It's a pleasure to be here. Excellent. Now, David and I, we don't go way, way back or anything, but the first time I met David was when he was a Grapeseed teacher in Korea. At the time, the Grapeseed Japan training team, we all went over to Korea to do some practice teaching at a school there and David happened to be a teacher there. So I'm really glad that he eventually found his way over to Japan and is now a coach. So excellent. I'm glad, I'm glad you're here. Yeah. Uh, when thinking about that time, I mean, that was a lot of fun, of course. And, uh, actually, yeah, it was kind of like, a an exchange teaching kind of program where, uh, we took turns just, um, teaching each other's classes. Mm -hmm. And I feel like, uh, for us, like we bonded just because we're both from Seattle and, um, yeah, actually, uh, my partner teachers at the time were, uh, Miklos and Grace, whom you've had on this, uh, podcast show. Perfect. Uh, I was going to ask, I'd forgotten who you were paired with, but I, I knew it wasn't me, but I forgot who it was, but Miklos and Grace. Yeah. Both friends of the show. Yeah. Uh, and yeah, it's crazy how, I guess, uh, like how small of a world it is in the grapeseed world, uh, and how things just come full circle. Like I used to teach in Korea, but now I'm here in Japan. Uh, so yeah, it's crazy how things like fall into place like that. And as you mentioned, we are both from Seattle. So before this podcast evolves into just Seattle Seahawks, American football talk, we should get <laughs> into, um, our grapeseed discussion of the day <laughs> for sure. So let's start yeah. with the first question here. What is your favorite component and why? Ooh, uh, I mean, there are, are so many great components. Uh, and I think the most fun I've had with is Little Dog from Unit 17. Okay. Uh, okay. It's just, yeah. Uh, I know that's kind of um, out of left field, but uh, the reason why I have a lot of fun with it is uh, uh, I love doing it's like a good voice acting opportunity for a uh, grandfather uh, who's one of the characters in the story. Mm-hmm. Uh, the voice I give him though, is kind of like, it sounds like foghorn leghorn. <laughs> like, uh, Oh, okay. Little dog, get your sunglasses and hat. And, uh, Oh, these cookies are the sweetest thing I've ever eaten. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, for me, it's a lot of fun. Cause, um, because I do that voice, I just laugh every time I read the story. Uh, and this was the case when I was especially teaching it um, to kids. Uh, there was this one time, though, when I was teaching. And um, I think there's like a part in the story where a uh, little dog, you know, he well, grandfather comes to the house and then. Uh, Little dog runs out the door and flies into grandfather's arms. And then he says, "Uh, you are getting so big and heavy too. And then (laughs) it says like, uh, grandfather laughs as he carried little dogs into the house. And then I always provide the laugh for that. Like, (laughs) Um, but like one time I was doing that and I just like, I was giving that grandfatherly laugh. Um, And there's just this one day where, I think maybe I was just uh, really tired, um, so that <laughs> didn't help either. But there was just one moment where I just lose it and just like, keep, like I couldn't stop laughing, where I couldn't even like progress through the story, <laughs> and <laughs> the students were just like looking at me like I was a crazy person. Like they were like, "Oh, this guy is insane. We need to get out of here." <laughs> yeah, what happened to uh, Mr. David? He's lost it. Right. And then uh, some students were like, oh, Mr. David, are are you OK? <laughs> and then this one student just flat out said, like, Mr. David, why? It's not funny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You always get those like um, cynical students like that. Yep. Um, but yeah, I mean, for me, it was uh, it was a lot of fun. Uh, oh, actually, uh, as I'm talking about this one, there's this one other favorite component of mine. Can I mention this one really quickly? Go for it. That's okay. Uh, yeah. So I guess just like an honorable mention 
uh, one of the story, it's another story, um, but I really like uh, What Can You Do in Unit 2. Okay. Uh, one of the reasons why I really like that story is um, the first thing is the art style. I really like the art style. And um, I think the artist's name, uh, I actually like looked, tried to look for uh, the artist's name and it was Akiko Yamaguchi. Uh, if I got your name wrong, Miss Yamaguchi or whomever you are, I apologize. Uh, but yeah, you'll definitely find that artist's work all across like the grapeseed units. Uh, another example of her art style is um, the Bear's Picnic uh, in oh, Unit okay, 6. Okay. Yeah, uh, there are some similarities between the art um, that you'll find. And it's a, the Bear's Picnic, another delightful story. Um, but going back to what can you do? Uh, the other primary reason... Uh, I like that story is uh, it's a story where, you know, students are asking animals what crazy things they can do. Like, oh, hello, giraffe. What can you do? Can you fly with birds? Goodbye, my friends. Goodbye. I'm sad to say goodbye. It was a good day. But now I will say goodbye, my friends, goodbye. Goodbye, everyone.